Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter in the new studio, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new backpack from Porter Brace. What's interesting about this backpack is it's pretty different from other backpacks in that most backpacks have dividers that you can, you know, Velcro rip on and off and create, you know, a custom setup on the inside. I really like Porter Brace's um, kind of mindset behind how to pack gear. And instead of having all these dividers where you have to fit things into it and customize it, um, they have all these packs and all these bags that you put your gear into and then those can go in and out of your bags or Pelican cases or drawers or anything else. So um, this one is pretty cool because it's based on that Hive system. And what the Hive system is, is if you open the backpack up and uh, there's two main compartments of the backpack, you'll have all these little, um, these look like lens cases and you can use them for anything, which is cool. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and just go through the entire uh, backpack. So we have a really nice handle on top. All port brace stuff is handmade. So this isn't just stamped together, um, you know, in China and shipped over. So on the outside, we have two nice big bag areas here. So um, I can fit the full size PV mat box from Genis on the top. And I stuck another seven inch monitor on the bottom. I've also put um, torch LED panels in here that work great. On the side, we have a nice big pocket for tripods or light stands. So that's gonna allow you to uh, really customize that space to throw a tripod or a light stand, whatever you need for your shoot. If you flip it around on the back here, oops, sorry about the noise. Um, lots of buckling points. So, you know, you can definitely go hiking with this. It's not uh, gonna limit you in that way. Um, really comfortable. So I've walked a lot around with this thing and I'll put it on real quick to show you. Uh, it's pretty big, but it's very comfortable. Hopefully my mic isn't freaking out. <clears throat> so we put it on, buckle everything up. And I'll spin around so you can kind of see what that looks like. But uh, it's pretty, pretty massive. And I like that because um, I don't usually get backpacks. I actually have not really liked backpacks because they're usually designed for just that backpack use. Whereas this guy, um, you could use it as a backpack, but you can tuck everything away and use it as essentially a bag to throw in your car and uh, keep your gear in, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it back off. And um, this thing is, it's soft, but it's very rigid. It's all padded on the inside. So let's go ahead and take a look. There's two sections. There's the higher section up here and then this lower section. So if we go ahead and oops, open this up. Uh, this upper section on the inside, you have a Velcro see-through clear area. Um, and then we have the main compartment at the top here. There is a divider here that you could open up. And uh, if you had a super long lens or something or a huge camera, you could make uh, that work and you could stick the camera through both compartments. I'll close this back up. Zippers are awesome. I love these giant ties here, these canvas ties to make it really easy to access. So now let's look at the bottom. Like a lot of sling bags, the bottom opens up like so. And we have a ton of these little see-through areas here that you could put CF cards, you put filters, you could do all kinds of stuff with those, which is cool. Um, and then we have some, some, you already see some of the bags here. So let me pull a few of these out. The pricing starts at around $330 and then you can add more of these bags from there, but uh, as you saw, I just pulled them right out. Um, and these have little tabs here, so they're color coordinated. So what I've done is I've labeled the tops of them. They do have a clear area at the top, so you could see uh, what's inside of them. But I like to have lenses. I've put other stuff in here. So like I've got one dedicated to Sony batteries. I've got another one for Canon batteries. I have one for my audio receiver and transmitter. Um, all kinds of different stuff. Another one over here with a lapel and an H4N. So they're great because you can fit just about anything into these. Um, and you know, using these different colored tabs, you can kind of organize everything. And uh, you'll notice there's like a belt loop on here. And then on the bottom, there's Velcro. So you could close it up like that. What I like to do is go off to one side so a lot of that Velcro is still exposed. And then what I do is I open up the bag and then you can just stick these guys in there. 
and uh, kind of customize your setup. So I've been able to fit my entire production kit for this show in this bag. So two cameras, all my audio gear, and uh, I'll just go ahead and fill this up to show you what it looks like. Boom, so that holds six at the bottom, and I believe it holds another five at the top, depending on how you have it configured. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip this back up. There we go, and we'll open up the top. And uh, here I have a camera and a Dom key bag, which I need to review because these are awesome. I just bought a bunch of those. And we'll just fill the rest of that up. So you can see you can put all kinds of stuff. Here's another bag that has all of my filters and everything in there. So we'll just go ahead and stick that guy in there, throw that there. Boom, now we have a ton of gear filled in here. We still have the two outside pockets. Um, we can throw our tripod on there. So it's just a great, great bag. I really enjoyed working with it. And again, if you're not into backpacks, um, you think you'll use it a couple times, you know, rethink that because you're gonna be able to use this for a backpack, you're gonna be able to use this for, you know, to replace other bags. So I've been using it a lot. I really like it. So that's the Hive backpack from Porter Brace. If you go to dslrvideoshooter.com, you'll see more pictures as well as links to the different configurations. So that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more reviews and tutorials at dslrvideoshooter.com. 